In this video, we will continue with the notations for back propagation rate updates. We looked at the error function in the previous video, and in this video, we are going to define all the other symbols on the left, bottom left of this page. So we are going to start with xji, ith input to unit j. Now, the unit j can be either a hidden unit or an output unit. So the hidden units are all here. These three units are our hidden units. And J could be one of them or J could be an output unit. And we are going to look at both these cases separately. That's why I'm mentioning it here. And now, XJI. XJI is given by unit J input I and this node here is XJI, which is the ith input to the jth unit right now xji to this node this input to this node j is weighted by wji which is goes on this edge this edge here this edge we have wji which is the weight associated with the ith input to unit j. Now net j is the next symbol. So net j is sigma over i wji xji which is nothing but the weighted sum of inputs for unit j. So if you look at this unit j here, so this is the unit j, right? If you look at this unit, it is getting inputs from all the nodes on its left, all the input nodes. Right? I'm just going to mark all the inputs here. Right, so all the inputs to this node J. Now, all these inputs and their corresponding weights are used in computing net of j right so all the inputs each of these inputs is given by a corresponding i where the i is different right so maybe this is i equal to one and then x j i where i equal to two is given by this and so on so now net j net j is given by is given by sigma over i all these units Right, you have to sum over all these units, the weighted sum that reaches this node J. Sigma over I W J I X J I. Right? So weighted sum of all the nodes that are feeding into the hidden node. J. Now, what is the next one is OJ, the output computed by unit J. Now, the output computed by unit J is sent to all the units in the next layer. So, whatever comes out of J, this is what is coming out of J, this is going into the next layer, right? So, it's going to be sent this output is going to be sent to all the nodes in the next layer. 
So I'm just going to mark it so we can understand this. So this is going on all these paths. The output of this node. So we know that this node we have assumed to be a sigmoid. So now we calculated net j, the output here, this output is going to be oj, jth node in the hidden layer. The output of that node is going to be called oj. It's a little crowded, so I'm going to erase it and write it again. This is oj. Now, oj is equal to, we know that it is a sigmoid. So that is nothing but sigmoid function of net j, right? That's what we studied before. We had a sum over weighted sum of the features, weighted sum of inputs to be precise because each one is a sigmoid. We'll see that its definition will change when we go to the output node. All the weighted sum of the inputs that goes in net j and then sigmoid of that is equal to oj. Now tj is the target output for unit j. Target output for unit j is the value recorded for the output, that the ground truth value. Now, a question for you is, do we know the output values for the hidden nodes? Here. These are hidden nodes. Do we know the output value? We don't know the output value. That is the answer. Because for the hidden nodes, one cannot possibly know what their output would be. But these are our outputs of our algorithm. Watch what are our, we want our algorithm to predict. And for that, we have the actual output so that we can train this algorithm to predict the right outputs, right? So for these outputs here, we do have the true values which we use to train the algorithm. So this, for these output nodes, we have tj. We do have a value of tj which we will use. So this is only relevant when our node is an output node. And that's why we will make a distinction between whether our node is a hidden node or an output node when we use BRAC propagation because only for the output nodes we have the true value which we can use to train the neural network. And others are simple here, sigmoid function. We already know that this is the sigmoid function. Outputs, a set of units in the final layer of the network. We know which are the outputs. Downstream of J. Downstream of J refers to the set of units whose immediate inputs include the output of unit J. So downstream of OJ, this node's OJ is what we have marked in blue here. All these nodes are downstream of J. The blue is a little cluttered, so I'm going to just refer to it in another color. These nodes here, which take the output of J. Remember, J is this node. So the output of J is given to all these nodes. So the set of units whose inputs include the output of unit j. So these are the nodes whose input is coming from the output of j. So that's, those are the downstream nodes for j. So in this video, we succeeded in defining all the different symbols that we will use in our backpropagation weight updates. And look back to this video if you have any trouble understanding the backpropagation algorithm because these symbols are what we will use in our derivation. Thank you.